Hello everybody. Well, it's been a little bit of time since uh, you've seen this. And, well, I know I didn't really show all the parts that I wanted to with this uh, series, but I guess I'll explain why I didn't. But as you can see, though, the JX75 is done. And it's been done for mm, probably close to a month now. <laughs> but basically the reason why I didn't show the rest of it is because I had everything, I have everything recorded and everything, and I put it all back together again. Then I went to start it, and it was really hard to pull over, which is kind of worrying. Well, what ended up happening in the end is I found out that the uh, crankshaft was bent, so which is not something I wanted to find out. So that's actually the motor from the uh, 14SB. You can see here's the uh, original JX75 motor right here. <laughs> what's left of it and I'm, I pretty much luckily these are both pretty much the same machine so I just swapped them and they look the same so I think it's about the same I mean they're I think technically this motor is like five and a half horse but I don't know really how because I'm pretty sure they're the same model so maybe just maybe I put the carburetor from the JX75 on this so maybe it is about six now that's my guess what makes a difference I have no idea but anyways, if I didn't have the this one or the other, you know, that one, I've been pretty screwed because I didn't have an hour motor. <laughs> but this thing runs pretty good and cuts, well, I haven't, I haven't cut anything yet. You can see the grass is starting to finally green up here and around the other side, actually, it's getting pretty high. So with the next week or so, we're going to have to probably do it. And I'm going to use this to mow around the edges on spots like I usually would do with the Honda so give it a good workout I don't have a mulch plug or anything in the back yet but I think it'll do the way that this is set up I think it'll be alright the mulch you know some but we'll see what it does I don't think it'll be too bad but obviously you can see that I repainted it I think I showed some of that I can't remember maybe I didn't it's not I didn't turn out the greatest maybe you can kinda tell where I taped off because you can't get these, you can't get these at all. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find them, so I just had tape around the best I could and just painted the rest of it. But it looks better than it did, so I'm happy with that. And compared to what it did look like, it looks a lot better now. I still got to put the uh, wheel caps on it. I'm gonna probably I have some inside that I cleaned up, and I got, I think I got to take one off of that one. But the rest of it's good. The reason why this is hanging down. Because I want to switch all this around from the other one, and I think I broke the spring in here, so it doesn't. It does work, but it doesn't stay up like it's supposed to. But eventually, I'll just get a new one of these because the cable was getting pretty wore out anyway. So I'll have to get a new one. But self-propelled and everything still works good, and I'll plan on keeping some parts from that one because the original plan, if you remember, was to fix both of them maybe and sell this one. Well. Since that happened, I can't do that now. <laughs> and honestly, I kind of would have felt pretty bad even trying to sell this thing because of all the holes in the deck. So I'll probably just take a few parts off of it. If anybody needs anything from it, just let me know and I'll we'll figure out some way to get it to you. But I doubt there's really anything on it that would be worth it. Unless, you know, I see any of you from a show or something, I can just bring it with me. But... The handlebars are in still good shape. So is the throttle cable and everything. So, like the, uh, you know, up there, all that stuff. That's still in pretty good shape. But the actual deck itself, not really. The transmission's still good, but I think I might pull it out and keep it myself, just in case. But here's the blade from this, <laughs> which it's pretty sharp. I don't even know how anybody cut with that thing, but they did, apparently. <laughs> But if you remember, this is the one that had the uh, clutch taken off the bottom. And that's probably why they probably hit something hard and bent the crankshaft. And so they figured taking the clutch off would fix it well. And they figured out what was wrong with it. And then it was, then they left it to sit. Which is a shame because that motor runs really nice. But it just, it was literally shaking this motor apart. A little bit I did have it running. So, but I'll get fire up here. Like I said, it runs good. Turn the fuel on. The oil should be good. I just I have it. I changed it and everything. That's the other thing. I'm sure glad I didn't change the oil in the other motor because 
If I did, I'd be kind of mad because, well, putting nice new oil in a bad motor. Or, well, you know what I mean. So at least I didn't do that yet at that time. But like I said, I did this one and I put a nice new air filter in here. I don't even know how it was breathing with the other one. <laughs> Somehow it was. But if I can get this off, you can kind of, it's nice and new. So it's ready to go for the season. Like I said, I still have the other Honda and everything that I'm going to probably use sometimes. Probably mostly for bagging, because I think the other thing I'm going to get for this is just a mulch plug. Because, I mean, there's bags that I can get for it. You know, people sell them on eBay from other mowers for parts, but they're kind of not cheap. <laughs> but if I can find one at a decent price, then maybe I'll pick it up. But I guess we'll give it our start here, and I can probably almost do it without me putting the camera down. We'll just give it a choke and pull her away and see what she does. That sometimes happens with, yeah I did, see? Sometimes it happens with this. If it's in between gears, it pops off the belt, like I just was. You can just reach in there and push it back on. It usually falls off back here. It's still a brand new belt, so it's not wore in yet, I guess. But it doesn't like the cold too well, as you can tell, but once it warms up, it's much happier. But I'll start up again, we'll get the blades here.
see that it runs much better. I'm not sure why. It's spring break in there? Oh, I see why. It's not pushing it. There's supposed to be a thing down in here. You're probably not going to see it. I can barely see it myself. That. I bet you that. Yeah, that's why. Okay. But see, that's working now. There's like a little thing that the spring's supposed to pull back and. The spring's still there. Let's see if it works now. Where the spring fell off. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> where, where, where the heck's that at then? Huh. That's funny. That's a brand new spring on there. Well, I guess I gotta fix that now, but that's not a big deal. It's probably laying in here somewhere. It's underneath of it. It's supposed to lay back up if you, you know, if that's working right. Maybe it's laying over here. I'll have to look at it here. That's not actually the correct spring for it, so that's probably part of the reason. But, I'll get that figured out here. It's just a spring. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this little bit of an update. And like I said, sorry I didn't actually show everything with this, but at least I, you know, at least you get to see it done. And you know, I'll try to get some footage amount with it here. Whenever. We mow the yard. It might not be the first time. I might wait until it's a little bit higher for it, but I don't think it'll be too bad for it. And like you can, as you can see, it runs good. And about the only thing I need to do to it is just get a new, th um, you know, blade control thing. But it, it works for now. And figure out why that spring is being like that. <laughs> but it's probably just probably whenever. Um, the way I engaged the uh, transmission, it probably jumped when it jumped about off. It probably screwed that up or something. I just need to make sure you have to make sure the gear is actually in gear before you engage it, and I was in between them, and I didn't. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. As you can see, there's something missing in here right now that is in the process of being pretty much done. You can probably tell what it is. <laughs> But um, hopefully here in the next week or so, I'll get a video out, maybe two weeks at the most, I hope. I'll have a video out of it being done and everything. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Catch you later.